way with it. The only reason why there isn't an 800% tax on alcohol is because the majority drinks. Okay, but because the majority doesn't smoke, okay, they you've decided to exploit them. He can't so so this idiotic judge. So I'm making a simple point that it's excessive taxation. The argument I made was the same argument you would make for cruel and unusual punishment. I called it cruel and unusual taxation. Okay, it, it is beyond the limits. Okay, it's completely discriminatory. And the only reason why you're getting away with it is because cigarette smokers have no representation in government. And this idiot, this idiotic judge takes that first argument and, and his, his, his answer, you know what this, this Harvard graduate's answer to that argument was? Well, uh, it's legal to tax cigarettes. That's it, that was it. That's all he said. It's legal to tax cigarettes. Okay, I'm complaining that the tax is excessive. His argument is it's legal to tax cigarettes. All right, so then <clears throat> I should point out that when this lawsuit started, the first conversation with the judge, the first thing he said to me was, <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Moser, you made a lot of accusations in your complaint, uh, but you don't state that you didn't buy the cigarettes. And I, you know, I admit in my complaint, I bought the cigarettes. It was obvious I bought the cigarettes. I was complaining about the tax. It's calling, I'm, I'm, you know, claiming the tax is unconstitutional. And this idiot saying, well, because I'm saying I bought the cigarettes, I'm guilty. So there was really no, you know, how, how do you even have a logical conversation with a judge this stupid? And, and then to further his, his imbecility, <clears throat> He says he doesn't have jurisdiction over federal constitutional issues. And uh, he, never re he never took that back, never retracted that until his final decision where he apologized for misspeaking. That's how he's put it. Uh, I apologize that I misspoke and said I didn't have jurisdiction over federal constitutional issues because I do have federal old jurisdiction. And so, you know, here he conducts a case, an argument, and uh, under the pretext that he doesn't have jurisdiction, and then in his decision, when I no longer have a voice, he says, oh yeah, wait, the rules have changed, I do have jurisdiction. Okay, Th this, is the, this is a Harvard graduate who can't, get, who can't understand the friggin' United States Constitution enough to know that that was just insane. And then there was a third thing he did. He points out to me that if I don't accept tax amnesty program that was in effect at that time, I'm, I'm subject to a 5% penalty. So think about that for a minute. What kind of craziness is that? You're in court, you're paid to be in court, and a judge is telling you that if you don't uh, basically say guilty and get the hell out of court, he's going to add 5% to your penalty. You know? So where, where, what's, where, where do you go from there? I mean, that's the argument I made. Where, where do you go next? 7%? And then 70%? And then 7,000%? And then all of a sudden, to, to have your, your grievances heard in court, uh, you have to be subject to the chance that, uh, well, if the state feels like shooting you in the head, it can. Or if it feels like uh, burning your mother's house down, it can. You know, if you're wrong, if you don't prove your case, if you don't win, we can destroy you. I mean, is that, that's just extortion. That's just saying, get the fuck out of my court or else I'm going to destroy you. And this is a Harvard graduate, a Harvard graduate. And so anyway, to, you know, I'm gonna finish up, we're gonna run out of time. Uh, so I, I, I appeal. And these two idiotic appeals court judges say, uh, well, we agree with Judge Cuskin for the reasons stated, and we don't feel like we have to write a decision. And so they don't answer any of my argument. None of it. They don't, I, I'm pointing out how this Harvard graduate is an idiot, and they defend nothing. And so I'm saying, well, this is crazy. I'm entitled to an explanation. I'm entitled to an explanation. How is it possible to call it due process for me to pay to go to court and then to, to bring a claim that says uh, the tax is excessive and to never have that claim answered? Because guess what? Saying you can tax cigarettes is not an answer. That's like saying, well, uh, the answer to a charge of cruel and unusual punishment, well, here's the answer. The answer is we can punish criminals. I mean, that doesn't answer the claim. So anyway, I say, okay, I'll pay another 300 bucks, another 300 for a transcript. I'll spend more money. I'll write up more volumes of papers, thousands of papers, and uh, appeal to the Supreme, the state Supreme Court. And of course, they didn't answer it either. Nothing. 
So here you have this whole judicial system from the Supreme Court, the Appeals Court in the state of New Jersey. It's all crap because here you have a clear constitutional issues raised by a citizen, completely valid. I'm entitled to an answer. I'm not entitled to win. I'm entitled to an answer. If you're going to say I am wrong, you have to explain how I am wrong. And I, I've never been given that explanation. I am claiming the amnesty law that we had in effect, that only one other state has ever had, Rhode Island, uh, uh, where you can impose this penalty. Only, only happened twice in American history. Okay, I'm saying it was unconstitutional. And I defy some Harvard graduate or some other law professor or somebody else to explain how it's not unconstitutional, because it is. You cannot extort people out of court. And so we have a law that was blatantly unconstitutional and the New Jersey State Supreme Court won't even hear the argument. And that's America. Well, guess what? That's not America. And, and, as, and as we have perverted and twisted this system, you know, if you live in New York City, maybe you live in America. Okay? Maybe, maybe in California and L.A., you live in America. Maybe you have rights in some places in the United States, but you certainly don't have them here. In this state, in this town, I don't have rights. I'm not an American because I can't even pay to go to court and make an argument 